Welcome to Only Connect. And regular viewers will remember that last week I gave you at home the chance to answer a question and get your hands on £10,000. Well, viewer Alice Scott of Tavistock has scooped the loot. She answered the question, do you have any information that might relate to a series of armed robberies in the Plymouth area between January 18th and March 2nd? Correctly telling Devil and Cornwall police that her son Adam came home on the night of the 2nd and burnt his clothes in the garden. Well done, Alice. I think she's splashing the cash on a holiday. And speaking of success, I've got six people here who won their opening heats. They will be playing again tonight, and they are on my right. Evan Lynch, a PhD student who's owned a series of goldfish all named after England cricketers. George Charlson, an economist who helped chase a snake out of a swimming pool using an inflatable lilo. And their captain, Francis Clark Murray, a trainee teacher who's taken part in the world's largest coconut orchestra. United by a passion for putting, they are the golfers. Francis, I remember you answered a question your team in your heat uh, very well about the Pirates of the Caribbean series, despite having never seen it. What do you consider to be the greatest film of all time? Um, I'd have to say Shrek. Interesting choice. You're wrong, of course, it's Back to the Future, but that's a nice alternative suggestion. Good luck this evening. You will be facing on my left. Bagwan Manku, a dentist who used to have a pet rock named Clive. Laura Miles, a hotel housekeeping manager who once had to post a set of false teeth to a forgetful guest. And their captain, Paul Mackley, a civil servant who once knocked over an elderly lady on a dance floor while acting out the Benny Hill theme tune. All music lovers, they are the jukeboxers. At the end of the match that you won, I remember Bagwan saying, did that just happen? Why did you say that? I mean, because we thought going into the final round that we were probably not going to do as well as we thought and we just sort of were in a bit of shock. Well, your opponents are trying to rattle you right from the off. They won the toss, but they are throwing you in first. So please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, the lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Is it like the first or the, the first in the series of like Beyonce's first UK number one single as a solo artist? Should we go next? Yeah. yeah. Next, please. Tangerine. Anything to do with orange? They're the tangerines. They're playing the city with Dundee. Um, and uh, next, please. Have they got similar named things, for instance, Dundee United and Dundee, Guinea Bissau and Guinea? So the first part of the name is also either neighbouring or the same word? Exactly so. The first part of the answer after the colon is an answer as well as the whole thing. I understand I've not done a better job than you of summing it up. But, as you say, there are two African countries, Guinea and Guinea-Bissau, Dundee and Dundee United. And uh, those first clues, Crazy was a number one single in the UK, as well as Crazy in Love and Annie and Annie Get Your Gun, both musicals. Most of the programme this evening will be taken up by your explanation and then mine. <laughs> but let's squeeze in a few more questions while we can. Golfers, what would you like? Uh, can we have the twisted flax, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. It sounds Portuguese. It sounds Portuguese. Or Brazilian. Sharon, are these like states or air? It could be like fruits, I guess. But, but it's Sharon and Sh Irish. Sharon fruit is that thing. Next, please. Uh, um, is that like. Anything? No, what would that be? Next, please. There's a name. It must be adverts or something. Right. Um, like the BBC. That seems like a quote word. No, three seconds. Two seconds. Are they all featured in adverts for chocolate? They are not. I like the detail of yeah, that random know. guess, but no. Jukeboxes, do you know? Is it things people have called Greta Thunberg? It is things people have called Greta Thunberg. Well who was responsible for those descriptions? 
Sharon was a mastermind. Sharon was on Mastermind, right? yeah. Sharon, it was on Celebrity Mastermind. It was the actor Amanda Henderson was asked to name the Swedish climate change activist who'd written a set of essays. She went for Sharon. Pirala, do you know what that means? Looks Portuguese, so maybe um, Bolsonaro? Very good, very well worked out, absolutely so. The president of Brazil, it's Portuguese word for brat. Uh, a kind but poorly informed teenager, actually Vladimir Putin. Oh. And uh, Greta Thunberg herself took all of these descriptions and put them on her Twitter profile. She changed it uh, to that description. And the last one, a very happy young girl looking forward to a bright and wonderful future, that was Donald Trump. And in, in 2021, when he was pictured boarding a helicopter to leave the White House, Greta Thunberg uh, commented, he seems like a very happy old man looking forward to a bright and wonderful future. So nice to see. Well done, so you get the bonus point. And what would you like for your own question? Uh, water, please. Water. <gasps> Good news, it's the music question. Your favourite subject, of course, over there. You'll be, I know, dancing in anticipation. Your first clue is coming in now. All night long. All night long. Next, please. Ariana Grande. Pablo. The song's called Pablo. Next, please. Yeah. Yeah. They're all kind of quandaries. So um, the third one is a riddle. Number two is problem. Very well done. So unusual to come in early on the music question. You're absolutely right. Puzzles and paradoxes and problems. Teaser George Benson at Clue 1. What do you think we would have heard at Clue 4? A classical piece? Not our area of expertise. No. <laughs> it would have been... Enigma <laughs> variations. It would have been from the Enigma Variations oh. by Elgar. Golfers, what would you like? Can we have two reads, please? Yes, you may. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Snow White Champion. Uh, they're on different lines. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Oh, so, so these are oh, Disney, oh, right? So oh, the, the, oh, Ursula's in Little Mermaid, Snow White is the oh, divine. What's this champion in my bit? Uh, next, please. So Ooh. are they playing them in the new sh in the new no, editions? No, no. Ursula Brown, Divine Brown, Tom Cruise. No. Uh, next, please. They, they oh. play, they're, they're like... Um, oh, they, they voice... No, they don't voice them, they're like a parody. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, I'll leave it to George. They're in Disney films with the vultures, etc. Aladdin, and then this, the second bit refers to, like, a parody, so that's like a parody of the Beatles, for example. Well, I'll take that answer. Yeah. They aren't all parodies, but they are versions. Are it is Disney films where they try to represent these people, parodically or otherwise. Uh, the situation with the vultures, it's the Jungle Book, Jungle Book. and uh, the vultures, I think the original idea was that the Beatles would become involved. There are these four vultures, and uh, Brian Epstein was very keen. John Lennon thought maybe it wouldn't be that cool, <laughs> so instead they became sort of parodic. And... Uh, Tom Cruise in Aladdin, they just wanted sort of someone to model it on. Originally, the idea, interestingly, was that Michael J. Fox would be the inspiration, uh, but uh, it was said he was too cutesy. Uh, Snow White, that refers to Marge Champion, and she actually modelled. She was involved in that, and Divine was the model for Ursula, the sea goddess. Uh, and again, um, Divine was not involved in that one. Well done. Jukeboxes, what would you like? Um, Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus, these will be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Oh, that's um, she's half Rocky Horror and um, Is it Rocky Horror? Little, little Lousy Actress, which is called Miss Gentle. Thanks, please. Discovery of Land Rover. What did you say the first one is? She's, she's played by Little Lousy Actress, which is called Next, please. Oh, what's he in? It's, it's one of those. Oh, Lewis or something. Huh? Is it Lewis? It's, 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 it's Lewis. I don't know. Should we go for the last one? Yeah. Next, please. Um, Two seconds. Well, she's a contender. Yeah, just like. So, something to do with being a contender of some kind? Not it, I'm afraid. Golfers, do you know? They're space shuttles. They are space shuttles. What do these pictures denote? Uh, that is a Land Rover Discovery. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Endeavour from mm -hmm. Morse. So that's a Challenger on 
uh, another TV program. You are allowed to say countdown. Okay. And what about that first picture? I don't think we know the last first one. That is Columbia. Do you know where Columbia appears? Rocky Horror Rocky Picture Horror Show. Picture of course, show. the Rocky uh, Horror Picture Show. All representing okay. space shuttles. Well done for the bonus point. And you get the last question of the round. That is slithering its way towards you. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Johnny, 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 I don't know who that is. Next, please. Next one. Uh, so, uh, 76. So, Carter 1. Ford and Carter. Carter, one. Ford and Carter. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, so people oh, it could be someone Ford. else on the bar, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's try. Let's try next, please. Um, nobody. He pretends to be nobody. So yes, real, yeah, yes, yes. Are they all people who have claimed to be nobody? Or yeah, no, you're right. There is a who's nobody. Okay. Are you sure? I, I yeah, I mean, that's, so. that's, okay, that's, that's the thing. Are they nobody? Very well, well done. done. What do you think we would have had at clue four? That's a good question. <laughs> Mr. Puta from the Diary of a Nobody story. What do these other clues mean to you? In uh, the Odyssey, Odysseus, Polyphemus is the Cyclops who um, Odysseus bamboozles by saying he is nobody. Exactly so. And was there a was there a write-in candidate in the presidential election, or was it someone who literally ran as nobody? It was a joke campaign. The slogan "Nobody for President" was a sort of joke that ran. And John Eels, do you know who that is? The Australian rugby union captain, World Cup winning captain. He was nicknamed Nobody because nobody's perfect. That means at the end of round one, the golfers have four points, the jukeboxers have four points. <laughs> Sequence is time and the jukeboxers will be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, lion, please. Lion. This is going to be a series of picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. It's a lactalizing area. Yeah, yeah like an acre or something, isn't it? Next, Hector. please. Hector. Hector. Oh, that's a big thing. Next, please. Oh, so combined artist, so somebody with combination. Is it a song? Is it a hector? Is it a song? Yeah, it's a song. Big hector, size. It's going to be sizes. It's a song. 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 It is a picture of a key. <laughs> this is my least favourite question in the whole series. I think it's ungettable. I hate almost everything about it. I said nobody could get it. Why is it a key? It's the wearables. OK, here's my problem. One, OK, this is... This is you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You're not neat. OK, they know all this stuff. You know what I mean. Why would you look at that and it says square feet and why would you change it into acres? Two, in doing that, how do you know how many acres it was? Three, what's going that got to do with this sort of weird machinery at clue three? And even if you somehow went, oh, that's a combine harvester from the song, how would you know that it goes and I'll give you the key? <laughs> Tell me I'm not alone. It doesn't make any sense, does it? It makes no sense. Key is the right answer, though. Brilliant. Very well Brilliant. done. Uh, for the points. Golfers, what would you like? Uh, can we have the water, please? Yes, you can. What would you expect to come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. I am not. Uh, that was my it could be the prisoner's identity identity crisis, crisis. But, uh, Yeah, it could be the prisoner's identity crisis. Next, please. Definitely be the one. Uh, it's like an Abbott and Costello thing. That doesn't really make sense, but... Uh, or like a word game thing. Uh, Next, please. Can we get something that rhymes with either? No. Two seconds. Uh, a tank of beef. That is not the answer. Jukeboxes, do you want to have a go? Yeah, I'm just going to go with the old favourite of repeating the first one. I am not. Not the answer. Why don't we count? the number of letters in the words. Uh, Starting oh, at the beginning, you will see it goes one, two, three, four letters in they, five in aunt, six in either. The words become seven letter, eight letter, nine letter. I just need to hear something that is 10, then 11, then 12 letters long. For example, supposedly friendships disintegrate. So, no points there. Jukeboxes, what would you like next? Uh, twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. That's a chariot of fire. It's the athlete. 
Hack of eight grams. So it might have broken record there. It might have broken. Okay. Next, please. So I don't know. It might be also someone as well. So I've got to go next. Yeah. yeah. Next, please. Mo Farah, London. It's not Mo Farah. I think you know over there, golfers. Is it Jesse Owens, Berlin? It is Jesse Owens, Berlin. And it is one and four that are the famous ones. Who are these people? The uh, winners of the 100 metres in these Olympics. 100 metre champions in successive Olympics. Harold Abrams and then we're going forwards towards Jesse Owens in Berlin. Well done. Bonus point for you there, golfers. And what would you like for your own question? Can we have the eye of Horus, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Walter and Jack Hughes. Next, please. Oh, um, John and Drew Barrymore, Barrymore. Walter and Jack Houston. These yeah. are. Right. Um, What's this? Is it Father and Son to win? Uh, father and Child to win Oscars? Or what are you doing? I'm not sure. Let's take another Next, one. Next, please. Henry and Jane Fonda. Yeah. So who is his father and Parents. Copeland? Maybe. Oh, the actors, I think. Gar actors. Garland and Manelli and all? Oh. No, no, they're not the same side. Ben and White, the flat guy. No, no, no. Two no. seconds. I'm not sure. River and Joaquin P. Would be an acceptable well answer. And why is that? They are acting families to win Oscars. Oh! You've got the right answer, so you get the points, but that's not they, the reason. No, it's generational. Walter Houston is the great-grandfather uh, of Jack Houston. John and Drew B, of course, Barrymore. and he was the grandfather. Oh, Henry Fonda. Fonda is the father of Jane, so we need two people in a generation. We had John and Joan... Cusack. Exactly, but uh, funnily enough, River and Joaquin Phoenix as brothers do fit the sequence, uh, even though not for the reason you were thinking. Well done. Jukeboxers, what would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah. 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 Is it number of monarchs in that in those years? It is to do with the number of monarchs. That's absolutely right. Why were there no monarchs in 1650? Because Oliver Cromwell was. It's the interregnum. That's absolutely right. In between, in between kings, and uh, one in 1067. Who was that? William the first. William the first. Who were the two in 1901 over there? Victoria and Edward the seventh. Exactly. And in 1936, of course, we had George the fifth. George the sixth, uh, and in the middle, Edward the eighth, who abdicated. Back to you, golfers, for the last question. The horned viper left in the bottom of the basket again, and it's a music sequence. What a little treat! At the end of the round, you'll be hearing your clues. Here's the first. Anything? Next, please. That's a new England. Oh, yeah, a song by Desmond Decker. Would be an acceptable answer. Who did we hear? We only got the second one. Which uh, Billy Bragg. Angry Anderson. Of course, oh, Angry Anderson. Yeah. Suddenly played at the wedding of. Well, Jason Donovan, Kylie Minogue, but Scott and Charlene. Yes, Scott and Charlene. Yes, Angry Anderson, Billy Bragg. Chubby Checker would have been clue three, and something by somebody with the initials DD, for example, Desmond Decker. 
I was hoping you'd say Duran Duran. Should we have a go at Rio? We can sing Rio, can't we? Absolutely not. Her name, name is, is Rio. Rio. I started a bit too enthusiastically there. Is it that one? <laughs> <laughs> that means at the end of round two, the jukeboxers have eight points, the golfers have ten. Time for the connecting wall, and golfers, you'll be first on the course, so you have a choice, lion or water. Uh, can we have the lion wall, please? Yes, you can. You have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Right, so, uh, so we've got notes of the round table, so Boris, Percival, Gawain, Kay, and I think that's the set, so maybe hold off on that for I, I don't recognise any others. Try them, um, I think you should try them. No, so let's, wait a second. Um, Angela Rayner? Jay, Jay Leno. Jay, Jay Leno, Jay Rayner. Jay Farrow, Jay Kay. Yeah. yeah. Where's the other Jay? Jay Rayner, at the bottom right. Oh, oh yeah. Jay uh, Blades is the Jay, one. So it's Blades, Blades, well. Blades, Leno, Rayner, Farrow. Oh, so. Gotta go through those. No, take take K out, it's gonna be needed for the round yeah. table. Yeah. yeah. So, so um we've got Masked Singer, so we've got Alien, Queen Bee, That's and a couple cool. of others. So let's Dragon. Um, Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well so, and, and now, now we can solve it, but we need to work out what the other one is. So it's silver, business, friend, and doctor. doctor. So what is that gonna be? Uh, doctors, risky business, friends, monkey business. Doctors oh doctors, friends, mm, silver no, and business no. doesn't work. Uh, um so, fiend. It, yes, it's going to be. So we'll just put in the. So uh, lock. So what? So it's going to be Gawain is the other one. I, yeah. I'm like, I, yeah. Yeah, that's, probably. That's, that's um, the, um, the. I can't so work out the connection. Locks. Doctor. 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 Silvers. Doctor Foster. It's going to be. What, it's, no, it's going to be a lettuce thing. I'm pretty uh, sure. Yeah. B. Um, End. Uh, fiend. Bus. Doc. It's not carry on, is it? <laughs> no. no, it doesn't work. Um, Fry, bus, stop. No, I don't know. Keep, we're gonna have keep to. Looking, keep looking. I think we haven't got yeah, too no, long. Yeah, keep looking though. We're fine. Keep looking. I mean, I think that has to be. If it's not the solution, we're in trouble. Maybe. It, fine. Maybe. We're fine. Keep looking. Right. For the words. Uh, bus. Sin in the middle of that. Ten seconds. I think we're gonna have to go. No, through. no, it's fine. Keep just keep looking while we do the rest. You solved the wall. I like the unflappable captaincy for you there, Francis. We're fine. <laughs> Keep looking. We're fine. But are you? Let's find out. Tell me about the first group starting Blades. They are all famous Jays. Yes, they are. And the next group starting Tree. They are, as Evan informed me, uh, costumes on the Masked Singer. They are costumes or characters on the Masked Singer. And the next group starting Boars. They are all knights of the round table. Knights of the round table and the last group starting business. Um, Pluralisation for the TV. All anagrams of types of tree. No. You could put family before all of them. Family business, family friend, family silver, family doctor. But you did solve the wall and get three connections. That is a total of seven. Well done. Let's bring in their opponents now. Give them the other wall. Jukeboxes. It's the water wall for you. Two and a half minutes, of course. Starting now. Right, these are so Britain's got, got Talent. We've got Britain's yeah. Got Talent, Dance, Flawless Diversity, Signature, Stavros Flatley. No, 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 we've got. Um, signature, um, Watermark, yeah, hologram. hologram. Quotation? Oh, sweet. Hang on, mate. Right. You hoard something, you hoard, right, you hoard something, you mess something, you pile something, and you raft. Heap something? Heap? No. Um, um, try the Britain's Got Talent winners again, yeah? Sorry, Which ones do you know for Daphne? Uh, diversity, flawless, signature, and, well, Stop Us Flat, we're a duo. Mm. Um, but, and signature, we're a duo as well. What's new school? I think they're also Britain's Got Talent well, as well. Could it be there. dance troops? Could it be his new school? Might as well, oh, yeah, right. yeah, brilliant. So, okay. Right, quotation mark. Watermark. Watermark. A hologram. Yeah. Um, oh gosh. Have we tried hoard, mass, could it, heap could, and pile? Could it be an anagram or anything? I think, I think we you maybe did, but let's try no, okay. that. So you don't you think Portrait, sphere, sphere, hologram, watermark? Portrait, things on portrait. passports. Yeah, things on a passport. Portrait then. Oh, okay. Hologram, portrait. Watermark. Is there a, there's a quotation, quotation as well, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. Right, so. um, okay. Sphere. So, okay. you hoard, you mass, you pile, and you raft something. Um, yeah. Careful heap, with careful. The goes. Careful with the guys. Um, heap, hoard. 
Um, um, Get rid of those thing. quickly, so we'll do. Just, just go for one. Go for one. Do it. Yeah. Um, go for like metric diversity sphere and pile or something. That's it. You used your three lives and the wall has frozen. But you found two groups. What connects? Flawless signature and so on. Uh, Britain's got talent, dance, people. Yes, they are. And the next group, quotation, portrait and so on. Things found on a, in a passport. Do you know, I'm going to accept it. Uh, I was expecting to hear things on a banknote. Right. But actually, if you say Dieu et mon droit, for example, as a quotation, your passport picture is a portrait, a hologram you'd have on the sort of one that you just scan, wouldn't you, in the watermark, I'm sure you find on a passport as well. So I'll take that answer. And you can also get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. Raft, heap and so on. That's the, that's kind of, things. to yeah, accumulate, collect things. They are synonyms for each other. And the last group, a sphere, metric and so on. Do with mile. Not it. You can put something before all of them. Bio. Oh, bio. But you found two groups. You gave me three connections. That's a total of five points. Let's have a look at the scores as we go into the final round. The jukeboxers have 13 points. The golfers have 17. Missing vowels time now, team. So fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group of disguise clues are all things invented in the USSR. I bet you all know this, really. It's Tetris. Next clue. Jukeboxes. Artificial heart. Very well done. Next clue. Golfers. Kalashnikov. More familiar, isn't it? Next clue. Jukeboxes. Perestroika. Indeed. Next category, songs you can use to help you perform CPR. Golfers. Dancing queen. Indeed so. Golfers. Staying alive. One, two, exactly. Jukeboxes? No, sorry. Golfers, do you know? Another one bites the dust. Dark, isn't it? Next clue. Jukeboxes? I will survive. Correct. Next category. Hilltop buildings and where they are. Golfers? The Parthenon and Athens. Correct. Golfers. Durham Cathedral and Durham. Yes, it is. Golfers. Edinburgh Castle, Castle and Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yes, it is. Jukeboxes. Sacre Coeur and Paris. Well done. Next category. No time for another category. That is the end of the quiz. And looking at the final scores, the winners and straight through to the next round with 24 points are the golfers. Very well done to you. Jukeboxers, you finish with 16. You're not out, of course. Another match remains for you to play your way into the next round. And before we go, I've had a lovely letter from Cheryl in Fort William. Dear Victoria, love the show. Have you ever thought about doing a children's version? <laughs> Cheryl, what do you think this is? You should see the rounds we play in the bar afterwards. Good night.